Mongal, Javelin, TDK, Weasel. Here's the introduction of Weasel, everyone's favorite character after King Shark. That is the thought, everyone wanted me to do it. So here he is. Now, I think that Weasel does not get as many accolades for being perhaps one of the smartest members of the Suicide Squad. I said it. He seems to understand that he's part of a team because he's walking with them. But let's see a little bit more about his character. Yo, is this a dog? Oh my God, is it a werewolf? Hey, he's not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel, he's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless, he's killed 27 children, but you know, we got him to, I think he's agreed to do this. First, when I first saw the scene, I thought that there was really nothing happening, but you can see that his pupils are moving and when someone's speaking about him, he is looking to them. Weasel's making these cute little mannerisms back, kind of like a three-year-old child. So he's making this little tiny baby talk and it's sweet and friendly. So I think that Weasel does have an understanding of he's being spoken about and in a kind way. But you know, we got him to, I think he's agreed to do this. Whatever the case, just everyone get in a position to drop. So Rick says that, oh, and I think that he's agreed with us to do this, but right away you can see Riesel's reaction is not that he's thrilled about being there. Right away he's like, I want to get out of here, and he's trying to jump out of his seat. Just like a three-year-old that finds out that he's going to a place that he does not want to get to. So I'm not so sure that there was informed consent that happened here, and if his brain level is around a three-year-old, would that even be fair? Or is he just brilliant? Did anyone check on where the weasel could swim? So right away you see him fall like a belly flop, like he does not know about entering water and how painful it is if you're belly flopping from a helicopter. But he does get rescued, and he's only underwater for a brief few seconds. The weasel is dead! I repeat, the weasel is dead! I've looked it up. Can weasels play dead? Yes, they're actually very good at that. They're brilliant. Perhaps this I don't know really what's happening was entirely a ploy, so that people underestimate him. So here we can see that Weasel, though licking a window, which is probably not the greatest sign of intelligence, does pause and stop and notices that Bloodsport is not just looking at him, but looking at him in a way that is like, this is not all right. And so Weasel has some social awareness. He understands that this behavior, though he wants to do it, is not acceptable behavior. And that is a higher level of intelligence than a two or three year old, and definitely much more than just a regular Weasel. This kind of goes to another clue that maybe Weasel has a greater deck than we give him credit for. <laughs> So there he is, he woke up, he coughed up a little bit, a tiny little tiny amount of water. Weasel was just playing dead, pretended like he drowned in the hopes that he could survive this suicidal mission that he already knew about. Not that he is this creature that really doesn't know it. And I actually looked up, yes, weasels can play dead and they're really good at it. Let's just say when they took his pulse how well do you know what a weasel's pulse should feel like through all that fur and thick skin that they have so that they can end up fighting different types of things? Maybe this was his plan all along. <laughs> Takes a look around, makes sure that the coast is clear, and then runs off to the forest for safety. And the best part, the best part is because he's already presumed dead, Waller's never gonna be looking for him. He's the only one of the Suicide Squad that truly gets off without any fear, worry, or repercussions. That's my theory. Tell me what yours is. And did I forget any weasel scenes that you really love? Do you also love the weasel? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this, please hit subscribe.